Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we're going to explain what an oil filter bypass valve is on Dodge Chrysler or Jeep vehicle with, with the 3.6 engine. Uh, this is uh, 3.6 known as the Pentastar engine guys. Okay, let us show you uh, this Dodge Journey. Okay, the valve broke so we had to buy a new one and uh, we have to replace it now. So these guys right here now, this is the oil filter okay, bypass valve. Okay, let us show you now. This is this is the valve. It consists of a spring and a black plastic piece. That black plastic piece, what happens uh, from the heat of the engine and the oil? Okay, eventually it will crack and it will break. Now, practically your car can run with without the oil bypass valve. And we're going to demonstrate in just a second. I'll start the car. We do not have one now because the last oil change, which was a few days ago. Ours broke and we installed the filter without it. We check the oil pressure, it's good oil pressure. This is our old spring here. But what that oil bypass valve does? Oil filter bypass valve. So if your oil filter gets plugged up, what happens? Okay, that oil bypass valve, it's going to open and it will let oil go to the engine. Okay, to the crankshaft and the oil pump and all that stuff without going through the oil filter. Let's say the oil filter malfunctions, it gets plugged up, it doesn't have enough flow, it's going to open that valve and your engine will not starve of oil. So I'm going to go ahead, start the car now and show you that even without it, we're getting uh, good oil pressure. However, you should never ever drive your car without it because you never know what's going to happen. So always replace that, guys. You can find this one in the description of the video below where we purchased ours from really really good price compare, compared to going to the dealer, uh, dealership so uh, check it out let's go ahead and start the car now so i'll go ahead start it now okay we have the message all changed you okay check it out our pressure we get 76 which is pretty good so uh, even without the valve our pressure is good but if the filter malfunctions or get plugged up uh, we're going to mess up the engine and need a new engine. So, uh, it's recommended to replace it when you do an oil change, that way the filter will be out and all that stuff. Uh, in our case, I told you we had to wait a couple of days for the part to come, but now we can go ahead actually and uh, replace it. So, 24 millimeter wrench, and we're going to remove the oil filter cap here now. Okay, it's almost loose now to the point that we can turn it by hand. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to get the buckets here so we don't make a mess. Okay, this is the oil filter. You can see the oil is good because uh, we just changed ours. Now, we're going to get the new valve. Okay, wipe here where we leaked out and we'll show you how to replace it now. So you have to be extremely careful not to drop it in the hole now so we can go ahead okay, and install it. Get the spring in. Now push the valve. Okay, like that. Actually, you need to go a little bit more until the next one, the next tooth. Okay, right there. You can see to the second, to the second tooth. Otherwise, okay, it's not going to have any pressure on the spring. So that's how we install the uh, oil filter bypass valve. From that point on, we we'll have to install our oil filter now. So we'll go ahead install the oil filter now. We'll get it tied with a torque wrench. Okay, you can see on top of the cap here, it states uh, 25 Newton meters. So we have to have our wrench set at 25 Newton meters. And it's a click type wrench, so what it means, when it reaches that torque, you shouldn't try to go more, because if you do, okay, what will happen, you over tighten. You can crack that oil filter housing as a result guys you develop an oil leak that's very expensive to fix 
We have the video on the channel. That's how we bought the car with an oil leak. Okay, so let's set ours at 25 newton meters. Perfect, lock it and now listen what's going to happen when we uh, get it tight and it reaches those 25 newton meters of torque. We have the video guys how to replace the uh, cracked oil filter housing, I told you. We have more than 200 videos on this car, so that's it, right there. Do not go more. Perfect. So that's how you guys uh, remove, replace uh, uh, the oil filter bypass valve. Most of the times it will fall off on its own because it will crack. That's how I notice that yours is broken. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Please subscribe to the channel guys for more videos and see you guys next time.